everything sort of lined up at that point. I'm a, I'm a big lover of gaming, um, big lover of kind of new technologies. And yeah, I, one year later, uh, here I am. And it's it's been an incredible journey so far. And Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Human and the Machine channel, where we talk to the teams developing some of the hottest technologies in the blockchain space around the world. I am Plawi, your co-host for the day, and with me... Hikaru, also known as a machine. That's right. That's uh, right. Machines, That's quick right. reminder. Yeah, so as always, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you get the latest notifications. That's correct. Thank you very much. And guys, today we have a very special guest. He is the brand lead of Rev Motorsport. His name is Matt Solomon. Matt very welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, super excited to be chatting to you guys about all things Rev. Wonderful. But first of all, uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about you because you have a very special background, and uh, we want to hear that kind of uh, uh, that kind of backgrounds here in, in human and machine. Sure. Yeah. So uh, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not from the crypto world. I'm, I, you know, I haven't. My story is not one that, you know, has, has been, you know, not one that I've been in the crypto world since 2015 or 16 and have kind of gone through this wave. I actually sort of entered this uh, whole blockchain world and NFT world about a year ago now. Um, and that was through hearing about everything that was going on um, at Animoca. But prior to that, I was actually, um, I was actually a, you know, semi-professional, professional, professional uh, racer myself. Um, I raced everything from Formula Three in Europe to GT threes around Asia, um, competing with some of the you know some of the top drivers in the world. So a lot of the guys that are in Formula One right now, I used to race against back in the day, which is which is pretty crazy crazy to see. So um, I was racing, and I came back to Hong Kong, um, and you know I was doing a lot of sort of racing coaching and driver experience days and stuff like that. Um, and I heard about everything that was going on with, uh, with Yat and with, you know, with Animoca and the Rev, uh, Rev project. And I saw F1 Delta time and that kind of, you know, everything sort of lined up at that point. I'm a, I'm a big lover of gaming, um, big lover of kind of new technologies. Um, and I had met Yat a few years ago. And so I got in touch with him. I said, Hey, look, um, you know, I'd be really interested in, in seeing how I could help. And if there's anything for me to do with the project, um, and yeah, I, one year later, uh, here I am, and it's it's been an incredible journey so far. And uh, yeah, I can't can't wait to see where it where it continues to grow to. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Uh, just for our viewers, uh, you're talking about Yatsu, right? Chairman of Animoca. Uh, we will have the link somewhere somewhere around here, so you can watch that uh, interview because he's just he's amazing. He's just an amazing guy, right? So so uh, tell me, I mean. Uh, not not from the blockchain yet, but how do you talk to a guy like Yat? Right, that, that he's just so good at what he does, right? But but he does have the passion that, that you have. How how does he and you? How do you guys find some, you know, like leverage on each other to work together? Yeah. Honestly, it's it's been fantastic. You know, I, I see Yat as as you know, and I, I'm sure a lot of people do see him as the the guru. Right. And he really he's, you know, it's incredible every time you get to hear him speak and the way he talks about the space, the way he talks about where this, you know, where this whole kind of movement came from and where he sees it going, I think is just fascinating. Um, and, you know, it was really so when I when I got sort of got in contact with him for the first time, he was like, yeah, like interested to discuss it. Um, he sent me a bunch of links um, and stuff to read on, uh, one of which was actually uh, one of, you know, a, an interview of him on stage. Um, and immediately after watching that video, just everything kind of clicked and made sense. Um, and, you know, immediately I was drawn to it. I was like, yeah, I have to have to be a part of this. Um, and then, you know, working alongside him and getting to, you know, getting to kind of bounce ideas off him and, and sort of discuss where we see things going or how we see things going. It's just been an incredible, uh, incredible experience. And um, yeah, just again, have to have to thank him for, for bringing me on board. And um, it's fantastic working alongside him. Machine, I'm sure you want to get the, 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 the details of Rev itself. Of course. You know, um, I played a lot of racing games myself, and I love them, right? 3D Racing, Forza, XYZ. And when you saw Rev Racing, you know, I'm sure you read about, like, the NFT and blockchain space. So, like, someone from who's not in the crypto sphere, you know, back then, how did you first think about, like, this NFT concept? So, for me, I... 
you know, it was it. So I've always been a gamer myself as well. Um, I've played everything. You know, I've played like you, like you've played a lot of racing games, um, but I've also played a lot of you know a lot of shooting games as well. So, you know, last year, especially with um, you know with you know with COVID and the way things have have gone, I think there's been a, a huge wave of people kind of getting back into gaming. Or there's a lot of people who um, who have kind of taken up gaming. Um, and Call of Duty was very big last year um and i think uh, it was a lot around that with people buying skins i have a younger brother who loves fortnite he buys a lot of skins or he gets me to buy him a lot of skins um so when i heard you know and, and when i started to understand how nfts could basically you know how you could own your assets how you could own your in-game assets uh, and your digital assets and have true you know true digital ownership it all just made sense um, and the way that it fits with gaming and the way that it kind of integrates with everything that we're doing, um, just, you know, sp- you know, sp- speaks volumes to, to how, you know, how the, how the future of this space will, will kind of develop. Right. And, um, it just, if, if, you know, who, to, to those who are following the space right now, I think it's evident that, um, you know, that more, you know, as, as things develop, as things grow, uh, NFTs are here to stay and, and really is the, it is the future of, uh, of digital assets. I, I, I would say from the, besides the, the blockchain perspective, I mean, and the digital ownership, uh, what is different about Rev, like for the gamer, besides the NFT, is what is what uh, differentiates uh, from, the savings, from the gaming side alone, Rev from other uh, competitors? Right. So, you know, so with Rev, Rev, you know, what we're building out is we're really trying to develop the motorsport platform on blockchain. And really, essentially, be the hub of uh, of all motorsport experiences and games. So, Rev uh, the Rev Motorsport ecosystem is powered by and, and utilizes the Rev token, um, and that's something that we you know is the core of the of the entire system. And basically, uh, with all our games, they're all play to earn. And play to earn is a, is a big part of our ecosystems, uh, especially with Rev, but with the Animoca brand's uh, ecosystem in general. Um, and with a lot of our games, especially with uh, F1 Delta Time, which has been kind of a, a proven concept, uh, and with Rev Racing as well, players are actually able to earn a significant amount um, of Rev, which they can, you know, they can keep in Rev tokens, or they can, you know, exchange it for Ethereum, uh, or any other, you know, they could potentially even cash it out into into Fiat, which is what a lot of our um, our players have actually actually done. And there's a fantastic story from one of our our players in Australia. Who um, you know he was one of the early uh, early adopters of of Rev, um, one of the early F1 Delta Time players, um, and as of a few months ago, actually put put a down payment on a family home in Australia, um, which is incredible to see. And you know we love hearing stories like that. Some of our other players are are, are currently you know running their own businesses and and using Rev as kind of a, a side hustle, let's say, um, and treating it not only as a game, but as a kind of secondary, you know, secondary stream of income as well, which has been incredible to see. Um, and, you know, every day being in this space and being, you know, especially in the in the Rev ecosystem, we hear more and more of these stories uh, pop up, you know, every day. It's, it's really, really inspirational. Yeah, I think uh, you are hearing that a lot. I actually, on my Twitter feed, I, uh, I, I just read something like that, like, oh, I just bought my first house because he held this uh, NFT for four months, right? And now he can put... I think I saw the exact same it. tweet. <laughs> it's, it's just crazy, right? Cool. Machine. Yeah, it is wonderful. It's like almost a race to earn. And it's a very cool thing to say. Yeah. yeah so like uh, when you start the game, right? Yeah. Let's say I'm a brand new user. I get into Rev. You know, how do I start? And how do I actually like earn these uh, Rev tokens? Sure. Yeah. So um. You know, I, I'm sure a lot of people who have kind of been in this space for, you know, let's say for six months to a year, or even new kind of new users and new crypto, uh, new crypto people jumping into the space, have found certain challenges with buying Ethereum or, or buying uh, any kind of token. Let's say it's a stable coin or whatever, and actually exchanging it for other tokens. Um, and so with Rev, we're really trying to we're really trying to lower the kind of barriers to entry. Um, so Rev is an ERC twenty token. Uh, you can obviously exchange it on a number of the, uh, you know, a number of the dexes that are out there, the decentralized exchanges. Um, but basically, to get into Rev, all you need, or to get into Rev Racing, all you need is a Rev, Rev Racing NFT car. Um, right now, if you go on OpenSea, you can see those cars are selling for you know, anywhere from kind of fifteen to thirty dollars. You just get one car. 
you head on over into uh, into at, into revracing.com. Um, you have to, you know, press a few buttons to switch over onto the Polygon network um, because Rev Racing is, is built on Polygon. Um, but once you're in and you get racing, uh, you, you know, you play the game and, and through, you know, we have multiple different tournaments that you can earn from, uh, multiple different kind of, we call them sprint sessions. So sort of daily events that you can, uh, that you can partake in. Um, and at the end of the event or at the end of the tournament, um, you know, if you, if you kind of place well on the leaderboard, uh, you will earn a certain amount of rev um, that you can either hold in rev or you can convert back into into you know into real money into fiat currency if that's something that um, that you choose to do as well. Okay, so uh, the game is rewarding uh, skills more than time on the platform. It's a little bit of both. Um, you know, in order to kind of earn the the big pot of rev um you have to be you know you have to have a certain level of skill in the game um just like you know you would in any kind of let's let's call it traditional esports uh you know esports arenas um so there's a there's let's say a, a large uh reward to skill um but you also get rewarded for time spent playing the game uh you know we we often have you know cars uh that we you know more nft cars that we um that we that you can earn through playing the game on a daily basis uh, on a weekly basis um and we're currently you know we're, we're currently um speaking to the community and we're, we're constantly kind of developing um how the whole mechanic works and how everything you know how the, the earning system works um based on what the you know what the community has to say and we you know we're, we're always open to hearing feedback from the community whether they want to kind of win to earn play to earn and how they how they see the whole space evolving um so yeah okay yeah you know, uh, personally uh once i talked with yeah right i went and i checked rev but i don't have a background of gaming i never liked games so honestly i couldn't find my way around um, it was just the, the hurdle for the absolute beginner maybe a little bit too high <laughs> so so i that that was my experience and i was really frustrated but you know it's not like i have five hours to resolve uh, the issue, right? So it's like, okay, I couldn't do it now. And unfortunately you get too busy and, and, and it's an opportunity missed, right? But that, that's personal. And uh, hopefully I'm the only one that is so useless or hopefully <laughs> you have seen other people having the same problem and you could, you could help with a little bit of tutorial because from zero to something it's like, Okay, so what do I do here, right? So that that's just one, True. right? Uh, and and so, it's not a criticism, but it's just real experience with with the game for me. No, no, of course, of course. I mean, even you know, even for someone like myself, I'm not a we call it not a pro esports uh, racer or anything like that. So I often struggle to kind of place in the in the top spots. Um, so you're definitely not alone. Um, but the, the kind of the great thing that we're we're trying to build out here is also uh, a, a kind of rental system. Um, so there, you know, you obviously have a, a like a, a portion of the um, of the community who may own a lot of cars, um, but don't have the time. Whether they're running their own businesses or they're working or or you know they have families or whatever, so they don't have the time to kind of put in the hours needed to kind of really get those top spots on the leaderboard. So we have a higher a higher driver function um, where you can actually send a link to um, to one of the and that's something that we've seen uh, develop over the first few tournaments. We've had teams like teams formed. Um, you have some of the guys who are, who have been placing you know and consistently on the top spots of the leaderboard, offering um, offering their kind of their their skills um, in return for let's say a, a, a percentage of the profit. So there's there's a hiring function which we have seen to be to be very successful so far. Yeah, that is awesome. And then let's just say I own like a really cool car and then my friend, you know, human wants to drive it. Am I able to just let him drive it for like a few tracks? Yeah, hundred percent. So you can, uh, you can basically, so what you have to do is you go into the same, same way as you would if you owned a car yourself and you wanted to play, um, you would kind of go through all the, all the steps to, to basically, um, to pay for a try. Once you pay for a try, you can send that link to uh, to let's say a driver of your choosing, um, and they can race for you. And the, the the great thing about that is the driver themselves don't have to have they don't even have to have a crypto wallet. All they need is the link. Um, they need a you know a, a a place a platform to play it on. So if they have a computer or if they're you know they're playing on your, on your computer or whatever, um, then you know then it's it's as simple as that really. So you just send them a link. They do the session. Um, and that gets recorded on the leaderboard. 
I want to try that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, and Matt. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, Mr. Human. Yeah. I'll solve your problem by sending you a link. Yes, please do that. <laughs> but, you know, besides that, we also are trying to bring our viewers like a uh, different ways, right? Just showing ways for them to make it like extra income, right? Passive income or, or, or that kind of sort of thing. So this question is always there. What would be a minimum and a maximum range of what you can make, um, you know, playing Rev a day? Is there a minimum uh, and like sort of a maximum? I know that like the best ones are going to be off charts. But an, a regular average player who likes racing, what's the, the range that they can expect? So the range you can expect, you know, can if you're playing the big tournaments and the, some of the big tournaments, we've had these, you know, big prize pools of 150,000 US dollars worth of rev tokens. Or, you know, in the in the case of our last tournament, it was uh, it was a partner like a like a sponsored tournament for, uh, with YGG. So you were able to earn an amount of YGG tokens. And for, for those of you who don't know YGG, um, they're one of the kind of the largest guilds, uh, gaming guilds in blockchain. Um, who are really leading the charge with Axie Infinity. Um, and now they've got a lot of their players kind of jumping into Rev as well. Um, so if you look at a big tournament, the max you can earn, if, you, you know, if you're a single driver driving by yourself, you can earn up to $12,000 US if you, if you win the tournament. Um, but if you're on the kind of, let's say, the, the, the lower end of the scale, uh, you can earn anywhere from kind of twenty, fifty, hundred dollars, um, depending on where you place. And kind of every sort of every hundred places, there's a bit of a there's a step. Um, but you could earn, you know, you could earn around twenty, fifty, hundred dollars a week. Um, but with the kind of the single sessions that we have, the sprint sessions, um, you can earn maybe ten, twenty, thirty dollars a day um, if you kind of put in the hours to to really grind grind it out. <laughs> yeah, and in terms of grinding it out. You know, when I think of uh, racing and games, of course, you want to level up, upgrade. So with these NFTs, are they actually upgradable? So as of right now, all the cars that you see on um, on OpenSea in Rev Racing, they're all the tier one cars. So all all the, the common cars which were either earned through um, you know uh, liquidity pools that we've that we've hosted with certain uh, certain platforms, um, or we've done giveaways, you know, big kind of giveaway social campaigns um, to really get people playing and to really kind of lower the barrier of entry so that you ha we had a lot more people playing. So right now we've got around 30,000 cars um, with around 17 to 18,000 holders. Um, so as we kind of, as we grow that, and as the as the game develops, we're also going to have you know interesting new features of ways you can upgrade your cars. Um, you know, right now they're all kind of level one common tier, um, and you know systems to upgrade them to rare or to epic or to legendary. Um, and we're even coming out. Uh, I think as of as of next week, um, at a partnership that we announced uh, a few days ago with a hypercar manufacturer on blockchain, you know they, they, they call themselves the hypercar for the metaverse, uh, as a company called Enfast. So they're doing kind of the top tier of cars. Um, so there will be kind of different tiers and different levels and, and stuff and upgrades that you can uh, that you'll be able to kind of get as you play the game um, as as the game develops as well. Interesting, interesting. Uh uh, before we uh, continue, uh, what do you think are the main challenges for you guys at this moment? So the main, I guess the main challenge for us, um, you know, and I, I guess it kind of spreads to, to the, the, the more, the wider um, blockchain gaming world as well, is how do you get that mass adoption? And how do you really bring the the kind of the, the billions of gamers around the world into blockchain gaming, get them to understand the kind of value that NFTs are able to, to bring um, and the fact that they, they do own the content that they, uh, that they either win in game, that they purchase um, and really have that true digital ownership over the assets. And so I think what we've seen in the space, you know, recently with kind of uh, with Snoop Dogg um, revealing himself as a big NFT collector, um, and then now having a partnership with uh, the Sandbox, for example, which is one of, you know, another one of the Animoca, uh, Animoca products. Um, it's really, you know, the, the challenge is how do you bring the billions of gamers around the world into this space? And I think it's going to take guys like Snoop um, and for the motorsport community for Rev, it's going to take the guys like that, you know, the, the ambassadors that we have, like Juan Pablo Montoya, you know, ex-Formula One legend, um, you know, guys like Joey Logano, who's, you know, a NASCAR champion. Um, and more of these kind of 
let's call them racing superstars to spread the word about Rev and the kind of the potential that it has for um, for motorsport fans alike. Mm, okay, I, and and this is one question uh, I've observed because I've had quite a few friends that were athletes, and when uh, and and you are one or you were right when you were doing it, they tend to um, transition to 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 business and do very well. I think you have noticed it as well. What is what makes uh, athletes, former athletes, such good uh, businessmen? I think you know. I think it's the it's the it's the kind of uh, you know you being an athlete. You're really brought up from a from a young age to be very focused, to be very determined. Um, and with a sport like racing, it's almost like, you know, win at all costs kind of mentality where you really need to be very driven, be very focused, be very disciplined um, in doing the right things to, to kind of get to where you want to get to. Um, and, you know, we're seeing that in the space with guys like Tom Brady, who are, who are coming out with their own kind of NFT platforms. We've got Steph Curry, who's uh, who's now part of the, the Board Ape Yacht Club. Um, and a lot of these athletes getting into the space, especially with the, you know, with a lot of the basketball players, thanks to the kind of the hype um, that NBA Top Shot really brought out at the at the start of uh, at the start of this year. Um, so I think it really is that mindset and mentality of of, um, of of really working on your craft and really kind of pushing yourselves to to new levels um, to succeed in what it is that you're doing. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, discipline, focus. I agree. Uh, Machine question. Yeah, I mean, back to what you were saying about, you know, in order to really get more people into the system, you need people like Snoop Dogg or racing legends to come in and kind of vouch, right, and explain. And I think it's true because people want to see the leaders take charge and then they follow. Now with the Rev, right, I see there's like F1 Delta time, you know, Formula E, MotoGP. Can you explain more about how these brands are exactly like involved with Rev? Yeah, hundred percent. So with uh, with F1, MotoGP, and Formula E, we have the license to make the official games on blockchain um, for these, uh, you know, for these very well established organizations. Um, and it really, you know, maybe MotoGP isn't for everyone, and maybe Formula One isn't for everyone. So by having these brands kind of have their own, you know, have their own standalone game and experience, we're able to kind of tap into the multiple, uh, the, the fan bases. Um, and let's say if you're a Valentino Rossi fan and there's a Valentino Rossi NFT, that's something that you might be really drawn to. Or if you're a big Lewis Hamilton fan, you might go to Formula One. Um, or if you're, you know, I don't know, a, a Rene Rast or a Lucas Degrassi fan, that's somewhere, that's something that might draw you to Formula E. So I think what we're trying to build is really the, Kind of the motorsport platform uh, where where all motorsport fans see you know have a place in the ecosystem um, and really kind of connect with the different um, the different games and experiences that we're bringing. Yeah. So why to compete if you can dominate, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, we we don't want to we don't want to see it as kind of uh, as you know motorsport domination, but more as having you know having the kind of um, having a spread of, of experiences that people can all come in and enjoy and, and hopefully play to earn as well. No, no I, I mean, it, it was meant as a bit of a joke, right? But, <laughs> yeah. but at the end, yeah, you're, you're collaborating with a lot of other brands, a lot of other people, a lot of other communities. So it's a win-win. Agree completely. So, yeah, no, definitely. So, so what's next? I mean, you already told us a little bit of the challenges, a little bit of uh, how you see adoption happening. What happens in the next term? Uh, Five years. Five years. Um, I mean, th this year alone, uh, being in this space has felt like 10 years. So I can't imagine what the next five years will bring. But, um, and, you know, not, not to be overly cliche, but I think what, you know, what's, what's, what's the most exciting thing about this space is something that hasn't even been dreamt up yet. And it's, it's, you know, constantly on the move. It's constantly developing. It's like a living organism. Um, and, and really, you know, you open Twitter from day to day and, and you just see the change and the, the kind of development of the space from, you know, from, from kind of, uh, from where it was at the, at the, let's, let's say at the start of this year, where it was very kind of sports collectibles and stuff like that kind of transitioning into the whole kind of profile picture avatar movement transitioning into you know into into kind of you know how a lot of these one of one artists and small artists coming out and and you know being you know from Thailand as well we've seen an incredible wave of um of Thai artists that are jumping into the space as well so it's it's just been incredible to see the development um and to just see the constant evolution of the space and 
um, you know, not to not to kind of give away any names, but we've had a lot of interest from a lot of drivers, a lot of teams, a lot of series who have either been kind of crypto has been kind of on their radar for a while um, or they've seen it through some of the things that we're doing um, and want to kind of engage with the space through that. So I think in five years time, we're really going to see, and I think in in the next six months to a year to, to the next 18 months, I think we're really going to see that mass adoption happen um, that we're already beginning to see. Um, and I think once that happens, I think the, you know, everyone's just going to come piling into the space. Nice, nice. Uh, Machine, any any question before we start the wrap up? Yeah, I mean, I was just thinking about the vast potential, and I think it only has one way to just literally grow because everyone loves gate racing. You know, we love cars, and when real people come in, yeah, it's a match made in heaven. So, I'm thinking maybe in like the next one two years, do you think that this can become a big enough community where it becomes like an esports competition? A hundred percent. I mean, uh, it's, it, you know, we've seen incredible growth uh, in the last year alone. Um, you know, we, we started off having a, you know, a couple thousand people in the community to having over 500,000 in, you know, in the entire Rev ecosystem. Um, so the growth has been incredible. Um, we, we have such a, such a supportive community and, and such a great community of, of players and, and collectors um, who are always willing to help. So if you want to jump into the Discord, head over to Twitter and really kind of engage with the, the community. They're always there to kind of point you in the right direction. Um, and, I, you know, the, for us, the kind of the long tail of this and, and the, the long-term goal of Rev is to, you know, right now we are building the experiences, but we also want to see, you know, in the future to have, you know, user-generated content. We've seen the success, you know, of user-generated content with, uh, with the guys over at Sandbox. Um, but really have that and and give kind of power to power to the players, power to the creators, um, and hopefully have other people kind of you know build on top of our ecosystem as well. And that's really where we see Rev uh, Rev going. Okay, so what would be your the most concise message for our community, right? And your community will see it too. But what would you tell to human and machine uh, community about Rev? I think um, the the best thing is to to jump straight in, <laughs> um, to you know get involved on the Discord, get involved um, on the socials, um, and you know if you're if you already dabbling in crypto, uh, I think Rev Racing is a very good place to start with the ecosystem. Um, we've got we've constantly got you know got new things coming out. We've got a MotoGP um, card sale coming out soon, so really get engaged with the community, understand what's happening, um, and hope to see you all on track very soon. Cool. Michelle, any any last question, buddy? I have so much more, but I think I should just start playing the game and we can always come back and have another interview. Yeah, I, I think we can definitely do uh, one, uh, one video on this one and let's try to play. Well, I will try. I will play. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Look look forward to seeing you on the leaderboard. Oh, yeah. Just just scroll down a little bit. <laughs> uh, cool, cool. So, Matt, uh Thank you very much for being here and uh, we hope to see you on the show like in six months from now because as you say, these things develop so fast that it would be a mistake not to have you back and uh, so you can tell us a little bit more about it and how things have unfolded. Is that okay with you? I would love to. Yeah, human, machine, thank you very much for having me today and uh, yeah, hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, machine. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Yeah, you, this time you can uh, comment first, and then I'll come in. Oh, okay. Okay. So, to make a change machine, allow me to go first with my thoughts. Um, I think, well, we already saw it with uh, Animoca, right? And, and that's you. Uh, the guy just knows how to deliver uh, value, and uh, his value proposition is just strong, right? And... Uh, I don't know how he does it that he can bring all these people under you know like a single umbrella and say okay let's all do it together we know it's not easy right in the business world a lot of people just want to do their own thing but yeah it seems to do it well and Matt is a really really bright young man don't you think so uh, 100 percent agree and it was really enlightening to see like people like matt with real racing background knowledgeable about the subject coming into the gaming world and explaining all this NFT. So it was very uh, heartwarming to see that instead of just, you know, crypto junkies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because his, his, question, his answers were to the point. You know, sometimes 
uh, like guests or some, we, we or myself or you, we just talked that, that, that a little bit ex- longer than necessary, right? But he's like that, that, like period. Next question. So, so that indicates a very clear mind, a very focused mind, and uh, and yeah, the, the the marriage of sports skills, right? Adrenaline is like high adrenaline stuff, right? It's not just win, do whatever you have to do to win. You can, some people die trying to win in that sport, right? So imagine having that kind of driven person uh, inside a project that it's so well fucked and it it looks like it's being so well, uh, you know, like executed up until this point. Yeah, and the amazing part is that Matt was talking about there was a guy who put a down payment from his earnings from Rev on a home so these are just another example, kind of like Axie, where you know people are making a living off of it, and I think that's absolutely wonderful. We have to definitely go in depth. So you know, I think we will definitely go deeper into our next video on Rev. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because you do not want to miss out on the details of the how Rev works. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll play. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. <laughs> thank you, Machine. Thank you all. See you next time. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. See ya.